In this video, I will explain the basic features of the online PHET wave on a string virtual lab and we'll do a simple practice. The string is represented by the red green beads and attach in one end by three sources of wave generator and at the other end by three options. A fixed end represented by a clamp, a loose end with a ring around the pole, and no end with an open window. The options to generate waves are the manual option by holding this wrench up and down with your keyboard or mouse and create generating a wave with a desired speed. And also we have the oscillate mode with more options to control a wave. And we have a pulse mode to create a pulse by pressing this green button. On this tab, you have two features of waves, damping and tension. Also, we have a selection of measuring tools. So let's start with the measuring tools. The set of rulers, we have two. One to measure horizontal displacement, like wavelength, and this one to measure vertical displacement, like amplitude. We have a timer in seconds, and we have a reference line that is very useful to measure um, waves in motion. Uncheck those tools. We are not going to need now. To explain damping and tension, let's go back to the oscillate mode. Damping it occurs when a wave loses its energy. So by losing its energy, its amplitude decreases because energy is amplitude. Amplitude is uh, measure the energy of a wave. So by um, this is the ideal situation where I have no damping, which means that is no friction, no resistance. So the wave just travels um, over time with the same pattern. If I slide and add damping to the wave, I can observe that the amplitude decreases because it loses its energy. So that is a feature that you can add to your wave by sliding this tab. Tension is related to the mass of a string. What that means is this string is represented by those beads. So if I have less mass in that string, means that those beads, they have more space out from each other. So the, uh, the string is lighter. By um, adding more tension, those beads, they are more close to each other and the um, string is heavier. So by sliding, the, by controlling the tension, um, I can make my string uh, lighter or heavier. Now the oscillate and pulse modes, both they have those um, options to control amplitude and frequency. You can control amplitude. And also you can control frequency. Make the wave go faster. Let's reset. Okay, so um, now I think you are ready for an example. So let's go to the oscillate mode. And uh, let's go to damping zero. Perfect wave, perfect scenario. And uh, no end. So now um, we have here this wave um, traveling. And the practice that I want to do with you to apply those features is um, I want to verify the amplitude of this wave, number one, if it's 0 0.75. I want to verify the frequency of this wave. And I want to measure the wavelength of this wave. And I want to calculate the speed of this wave. So it's very simple. So keep damping 
zero and tension high for this practice. So the first thing you need to do, we need to identify one wavelength. So this wave is moving too fast. So let's slow this wave down. Now we're going to try to find a wavelength in the center of this screen, and we are going to stop this wave right there. So we have one complete wavelength. Now we are going to bring those tools, the ruler, and we are going to measure the length of this wavelength. So this wavelength is from peak to peak. So is um, this is four, and this mark represents 0 0.2 centimeters, 0 0.2 or 0.685. So the length of this wavelength is 4.2 centimeters. Okay, so now I'm going to verify if this, the amplitude of this wave is 0.75. So I'm going to bring this vertical ruler and I'm going to place the zero mark aligned with the reference line. And I'm going to measure with where the crest, um, the crest location. So 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. This will be 0 0.8. So about here in the middle. So 0 0.75 is a good number. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to measure the frequency. To measure the frequency, I need a timer. I need a timer and I need a plan. So my plan is to count how many wave passes in one second. So because it's going so fast and I don't want to make a mistake or add more to, to human error, um, I'm going to find a reference point right here on 4.2 could be any point, but my choice will be this one right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this wave very slow, and I'm going to keep my eye on this point. When it gets there, I'm going to start my timer, and I'm going to count up to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I will stop. Okay, so now I'm going to divide the ten by six point thirty one. So my number is one point fifty eight hertz. So it's kind of pretty close with this number. Okay, so now my next um, my next practice is to calculate the speed of this wave. So we know the speed of a wave is the wavelength times the frequency. So the wavelength that we measure is 4.2. Uh, right here is a little bit off. Uh, 4.2 centimeter, I think was this. Well, well 4.2 centimeters. Uh, let me mark here again. 4.2 centimeters. 3, 2, 1. So now, uh, 7 o'clock. Now I'm going to measure. I'm 3, 2, 1. The speed of this wave is calculated by the wavelength times the frequency. So the wavelength here is 4.2 centimeter. The frequency, my calculator one, is 1.58 hertz. So four times 4.2 centimeters. So my speed is 6.6 .6 centimeters per second. Notice that I did not convert centimeter to meter because there will be a very small number so it's fine 6.6 .6 centimeters per second okay to finalize this screen um the restart button means that you are going to start all over again with your wave like this so you are generate your wave and you start all over again so that's the restart button now this um, orange round tab is a reset button so when you click here you are going to lose all your information 
and the screen go back to its default settings. So now you are equipped with the knowledge of the basic features on how to use this simulation. And, um, and uh, thanks for watching.